Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking pretty much about my whole evaluation for my Project D4. I'm not in the most ideal today, I'm just on the stairs um, in the Robber building. Um, but yeah, it's essentially, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to talk about the entire process, you know, where I began, where I am now, and you know, how I think of it overall, and maybe what I'll do for my, for my Project D5. So, so obviously, at the beginning of my project, I spoke about how uh, I wanted to show off my skill and how I've improved the ACM. Um, and honestly, one of the biggest things that I've improved on is, is just my overall knowledge of music and and my you know uh, and, and I'm just my guitar playing in general. So, um, so, so yes, obviously, I wanted to make a style a a, a track in the style of Max Marco. And I did somewhat do that, you know, I did all, all the main, you know, a, a guitar bits and if I ever want to come back to it on soundtrack, I can always add vocals because I do have a compactor mic at my house, uh, you know, and that's perfectly fine for doing vocals. So I can easily just connect it up to my computer and, and do it whenever. Um, so yeah, uh, that was obviously one of the biggest things that I did for my D4. I, I learned how to do home recording, which was a huge step you know I really think home recording uh, is a big step into how to make music professionally uh, because you know rather than just doing it on my phone like it's not ideal like you know the, the quality doesn't sound good whereas you know doing it you know digitally you know directly into my computer that that's you know a big step and you know that's where once I get it onto actual software I can easily you know start sharing it and stuff and you know that's pretty much the music industry itself, really. You know, uh, spreading it out there. You know, getting out to people. You know, you know, seeing what people. You know, seeing your potential. So you know, I was really happy about that for my project, and that's probably my biggest accomplishment uh, that I've probably achieved this year, to be honest. You know, getting to know how to use software because you know it's 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 my first step into it. Um, uh, another thing is I've you know really learned how to uh, present my work and stuff. So you know I, I feel like all these video, little video diaries I've done have been you know really helpful uh, towards you know trying to communicate what I want to show off. Um, and yeah, uh, and as for my project assessments, I've, I think I've done fairly well for them. You know um, I'm, I'm getting better at, at recording myself, especially. So so yeah, and. Um, so obviously for my planning and research on my Google site, I, I, I spoke about all of this, you know, and I feel like I've achieved the majority of what I wanted to do really, which I'm happy about. And uh, as for research, uh, you know, I was able to find out many things about Mac DeMarco and, you know, stuff like what chords he used, you know, what key he uses, how he performs on stage. And I all, and I try to, you know, replicate that as much as I could you know, just even on like, you know, the smallest things like, you know, using a capo on the second fret or, you know, using or like, you know, adjusting the tone on your guitar, or, uh, you know, seeing seeing what, you know, kind of uh, tone he uses on stage and what tone he uses for recording, you know. And um, yeah, and, and I just got that research over just watching his own little t uh, tutorials, seeing his own performances and, you know, it really helped me. And for practical skills, I did a lot. Um, I obviously uploaded all of my assessments onto there uh, that I did. Uh, all of my little examples I did on Soundtrap, um, you know, just showing what I've learned. Uh, obviously, I'm just at the beginning of that, so, you know, I still have loads to learn. But um, apart from that, I think it was, it's been a good start. And here I am for my evaluation. Um, so, yeah. I, it's 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 been great, and another thing I've I've done a lot of this this term is is collaboration, you know, and I've done a lot of collaboration in my assessments, so that's kind of you know given me more of an insight into how I can collaborate with people because it because you know one of the biggest things I've learned since joining ACM is like it doesn't have to be your friends that you're collaborating with; it can honestly be anyone with a skill, and like you know sometimes collaborating with your friends can actually be harder than. Than collaborating with 
with you know people you don't know that well because like you know sometimes uh, friends can mess around and stuff like that. And, and it can be quite stressful because you know when you have that kind of relationship with with them like like you kind of tend to talk to them more and you know mess around with them more which is just natural but you know sometimes meeting new people and talking to them you know expressing ideas to them it can really open up uh you know a lot a lot of potential for yourself because you know they're showing you know their skill set to you that you haven't seen before so you know you're getting a load of a variety from that a load of variety of you know, skill sets and and that's what i got mainly for d4 you know i explored a, a different genre this this time around I, I explored more of an indie genre rather than you know the kind of punk grunge genre or, or metal genres that i usually look at so you know, I'm I'm quite happy that I've you know explored a lot main, mainly for this um, project, which is really what I wanted to achieve. So um, other than that, I think I've covered uh, everything or, or or most of what I wanted to talk about. So um, yeah, that's my evaluation for my video diary, and uh, thanks for watching.